Thank you. Good morning to all of you. The Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Fuad Khan, High Commissioner of Canada, His Excellency Gerald Latoupier, Dr. James Hospitalis, Executive Director CARFA, Mr. Jeff Cyril, Senior Vice President and GM at the Gem Free Mobile Laboratories Incorporated, Executive Members of CARFA, Members of CARFA, colleagues, good morning to you. It is my great pleasure to be here this morning and bring greetings on behalf of Dr. Bernadette Theodore Gandhi, the head of the country office and the representative for PAHO and WHO in Trinidad and Tobago. Let me apologize for her absence due to um, a very pressing matters. Let me thank again CARFA for inviting the Pan American Health Organization representation to this important event of handover ceremony of a modular biosafety level three laboratory. This is indeed an outstanding co collaboration between the government of Canada in strengthening the, the laboratory services and capacity of CARFA to support its member states for fast detection and diagnosis of infectious diseases in the Caribbean region in keeping with the International Health Regulation 2005. Early detection and response and early response can shift an epidemic curve to the left, thereby reducing the likelihood of further disease spread and mitigating the negative health and social impacts. The International Health Regulation 2005, IHR 2005, have been enforced since 2000. 17, no, 2007. The purpose and the scope of IHR are to prevent, protect, against, and control, the, provide a public health response to the international spread of disease in ways that are commensurate with the restricted to public health risks and which avoid unnecessary interference with public traffic and trade. IHR provides framework for who epidemic alert and rapid response activities already which has begun in collaboration with many countries. The CARFA effort would also be strengthened through this mechanism to have an international public health security. Under this revised IHR, countries are required to develop the capacity to detect, investigate, and report the, to international communities through WHO and PAHO potential public health emergencies of international concern. Such disease outbreaks are very important to be notified to all authorities in due time. A credible and accessible laboratory services capable of producing reliable results in a timely manner in a con cornerstone of any country capacity to investigate such events. This was very well, well known from the, the start when PAHO approached Canada to support this effort when CARFA was at CARIC. Although in recent years there have been significant advances in laboratory capacity, in many countries reliable co confirmation of suspected infectious disease is hindered by lack of standardized methods, sufficient funds, and suitable trained staff and laboratory supplies. PAHO and WHO strategic agenda in this area include strengthening national laboratory systems, policies, and strategies, support implementation of laboratory quality systems, enhance networking between laboratories with public health responsibility, increase domestic testing capacity in range and volume, and support laboratory workforce and development. Currently, there are several public health events of international concern reported elsewhere and in our region. Outbreaks of wild polio in 10 countries in Africa and Asia, MERS, coronavirus cases over the last two years affecting few Middle Eastern countries and reported cases in UK and the US, chikungunya virus in the Caribbean, Ebola in the Western African countries, rabies outbreak in five countries in the Americas, cholera in Haiti, Dominican Republic, and other countries in the region. Therefore, having proper laboratory support and services in this regard would be very paramount. Laboratory services are essential to identify the agents involved in important public health <coughs> events mentioned above, including those which may cause public health emergencies of international concern. To meet IHR requirements, each state party needs access to laboratory services. 
domestically or internationally. In our region, the presence of CARFA would signify this importance. Functional specimen transport system combined with strong laboratory biorisk management measures and laboratory quality systems should ensure that laboratories release, re release results in a safe, secure, timely, and reliable manner. Biosafety is the application of safety precautions that reduce laboratorians' risk of exposure to potentially infectious microbes and limit contamination of the work of environment and ultimately the community. In this particular case, having a biosafety level three provides an effective and efficient trans uh, re reduction of transmission of pathogens in our uh, work area. Once again, we salute the collaboration between the government of Canada, CARFA, and other oil partners. Thank you very much. Good morning.